San Jose Clinic has been around since 1922. Um, the winter storm Yuri that came through in February was a very rare event, but something that I think all Texans really were faced with was the challenge of the power outage that happened on such a mass scale. Our main focus was the well-being of those patients who are on insulin and other refrigerated medication because if the power goes out for a period of time, their medication goes waste. And even at our clinic, we had about $300,000 worth of medication lost because our power was out in the building. So in examining impact of climate on health, it was only natural for Biogen to want to focus on vulnerable communities, which we know are disproportionately impacted by everything from poor air quality to high temperatures to natural disasters. And typically we also know they have fewer resources to deal with these challenges. Health centers were upended to, to manage the, the pandemic. And you know they were completely under-resourced to, to provide that care and, and continuity of treatment. While we know we have to do everything possible to prevent climate change from accelerating, we also know that we have to do everything we can to make sure that we protect the welfare of those who are most vulnerable from its effects. We all know that climate change is affecting the weather. What flies under the radar is the other significant health effects that climate change is having across the country. Asthma is increasing due to air pollution. And then there's the mental health toll that's being taken of having disaster after disaster after disaster, where they don't even have time to finish processing and recovering from one disaster before they're having to deal with the next one. The need to build resiliency for frontline health clinics around the country couldn't be more important because the effects of climate change are already visible. We see more intense hurricanes. We see unprecedented wildfires in places like California. Uh, we've seen unprecedented heat waves and floods in other parts of the country. And that puts lives and livelihoods at risk. I can think of no more powerful way to do this than by partnering with frontline health clinics around the country to learn from them, to gain insights about what will work, and to apply the best science we have to resources that can be deployed around the country to prevent harms that are foreseeable in the patients that they serve.